Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Debbie and this is my Crafty Den. Today I am going to do a plan with me from scratch in my bullet journal. This is for the first week in December. So it is December the 4th to December the 10th. And I am going to use some of the cutouts from Nicole's book. This is that um, from Nicole Tim from Relax Cut Glue. This is a cut and collage Christmas ephemera book. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I have a bunch of these cut out already. Um, so here are the ones that I have cut out, all kinds of them. So I didn't take the, the most Christmassy ones in here. Uh, a lot of these like squirrels, the deer, aren't these guys just so stinking adorable? So this was what I was thinking of when I decided to use them for here because I do think that they're absolutely gorgeous. So these are the ones that I'm kind of thinking of using. So I am going to just put those over there and I think I'm going to use Hmm. I'm thinking about my washi tape. I'm just thinking about my washi tape. So I love this plaid right here, but I also like this plaid that is more green. I think I'm going to use this one. It's a little more green. And I think the plaids look nice down the edge of the page. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set these up here like this. So it's easier for me to turn my tape good side down and put it under the edge of this page right here because then I can see kind of how far it goes and then I can just roll it. So when I'm rolling the pages over, that's how I like to do it. It is actually a lot easier when I'm using, I'm going to take this one and rip it off. It's even easier if you don't leave it on the roll. So there. It doesn't give it the ombre effect that you get when you use um, gradually darker colors, but the plaid is really super cute. And I do love winter plaids. There, that didn't take very long. Now I'm just going to grab my scissors out of here and I'm going to hold all three of my pages together and trim those off. And the same thing on this side. And those edges are done. So they don't take very long. Now what am I going to use to make my boxes? I need my ruler. There, I'm going to go that far. So not very many weeks left in, in this journal to do. I I actually only have, I'm going to turn my book on the side because it's easier for me. There. So that's all the boxes that I need. Now let me do some red in here. I'm going to grab my pen and I'm going to grab this super tip 
These are Crayola Super Tips, by the way, if you're new. And on this page right here, I do my week because I keep track of the weeks throughout the year. So this will be my 49th plan with me in my bullet journal this year. And on this page, I do errands and banking. And do a this week. There. And then I'm going to do Monday, the 4th. Tuesday the 5th, and so on. And shopping list. And then I'm just going to go over everything with a wash of red. I'm going to go to a little bit lighter red to do my bullet points. So now that's all the functional parts in here that I have to draw in and I can start decorating. So I'm just going to use a, um, a glue stick. This is a Scotch permanent glue stick and I'm going to, I'm going to pick out a few of these that are just so stinking Cute. I'm going to save this for closer to Christmas. That's more Christmassy. I adore that. I adore the little mouse. I like this little fella. Or these little fellas. Okay, I've got a bunch of the woodland animals here and I'm just gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna get them down here. So I want my biggest pieces of course like one here so I'm gonna put one there for sure. And this glue stick is perfect for this. It's a permanent glue stick, so it's not going to lift off when it dries out. I ordered these because I was going to give some glue booking a try. But this is basically my glue booking. I love watching Nicole at Relax Cut Glue do her glue book pages. I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. And it makes me happy to see what she puts together. So she's part of my downtime right now. So when I just want to go watch somebody else's videos, I just go and watch her for a while. And she's just so relaxing and so much fun to watch. So this is a biggie. I'm going to put him down here at the front. I always put my largest items at the bottom and my smallest ones at the tops of the page. So I've got that. I am going to go through and on each day I'm going to put a different little woodland creature. So I've got a little hedgehog 
for Monday. And I put him near the top. I'm going to flip over to Tuesday and Wednesday. And I think I'm going to put this little squirrel here. I put it part way down the page. Wednesday needs one. I love this little fox. I'm going to move him up here. And I need this chipmunk to go up here. So if you're wondering what I'm gluing on, I'm just using a bookmark that has plastic coating on it so that I can wipe it off. I've got a, a wipe here handy. I'm trying not to get any glue on the front of these. I don't want to glue my pages together. And then this little, it looks like a little bunny, this little rabbit here. He's having a hot cocoa drink or something with um, whipped cream on the top. Saturday and Sunday need some littles. So this little bunny with the hat and scarf is the most adorable little thing that I think I've ever seen. He is so cute and he's going up here. I just have a Tim Hortons card. It's done. I've drank all the coffee. And then I've got this little squirrel with the sweater here. To put there. Okay, now I've got a bunch of extras. And I'm just going to figure out where they're going to go. Like, I've got lots of places for my chore lists, things like that. So I know there's extra room in here. So I'm going to take this little one and put it up here, I think. Just so adorable. Oh, this cut and collage book is just, it's got so much gorgeous ephemera. And this is just one of the themes in there. There's dogs, like all kinds of dogs. And they are so gorgeous as well. Like, look at that, guys. Look at that. So one, one week might have to be dedicated to dogs. Maybe I can move that to after Christmas. I think I'm going to put an extra one because I've got one here and here and I've still got this spot here to write. <gasps> These little mice. Oh, 
I absolutely adore these. I have this fox. I think I want to put it way up here at the top. It's just a little fox in the woods. So somebody commented on the reveal when I shared some of these ephemera books and somebody commented that they didn't like that they printed on the back of the page because they thought it used up, I mean, you, you had to decide then um, on what side, but for most of these books, there's just a print on the back of the page, not necessarily separate pieces of ephemera, just a print. And most of us could just take that page and photocopy it if you wanted to use that page and cut out the ephemera. It wouldn't be very hard to do at all. I'm gonna go with a little again. there and maybe even way down at the bottom here another little because these little bits of ephemera are in so many different sizes your options for using them are just almost unlimited um, yeah, infinite number of options for using these. So this little bunny, I think it's going to go right up there. Before I do that, I'm thinking of putting some, some uh, quotes in here. So let me, I was pretty sure I had some gold foiled quotes in this Happy Planner sticker book. It might not be this one though. It might be the Woodland uh, Woodland Seasons. This is the Woodland Seasons sticker book from Happy Planner. I love that. I love this season's change and so do we. There's something about that that is just perfect for here. So I think I'm gonna put it right here and then I can still put that little bunny right here beside it. There's room. there that is a cute page so that page is done there's enough on that page maybe i might go back and find some quotes for these pages i think this fox needs some help because he's a little bit wider and i got this mouse and i don't think this mouse wants to go back into that little basket of ephemera all by himself he wants to stay here with his friends. And that's just what I'm going to let him do. I'm using my card because when you're using that permanent glue, your fingers just get so, so sticky with it. But... That's the downside, and you've got wipes. When well, you're going to always go and wash your hands, the upside is that these do not peel back up so you don't lose them. So, more of these nice, pretty gold foiled quotes. I like this to put 
here. Do what makes you happy. And that mushroom goes along with this Woodland Animals theme. Just perfect. I don't have room for any more quotes there. I'm trying to think what I'm doing on Thursday. I probably have room for one here. But I've already got do what makes you happy there. I think the make life wonderful is too wide for this page. We'll see if there's anything else. If not, I'm just going to call it done. Wow, that is so cute. It says, gather with grateful hearts. If you didn't have the pumpkin and it just had the fall leaves, I'd probably go with that. Keep going and keep growing. I kind of like that. And this one is... Uh, paper sticker but it's okay I'm going to put it in there so that's it that's this week's spread I absolutely love this I think it's gorgeous so let me know what you think down in the comments what do you think of using the cut and glue ephemera books for planner stickers this this is just opens up so many options like just just the themes of these sticker books that you can get so many of them that tapes a little bit crooked there but i think i'm gonna have to live with it these guys are so beautiful so yeah let me know what you think of these for stickers for your sticker book. This would work in your Happy Planner. It'd work in your Erin Condren. These would work in any of your planners because there's so many different image sizes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh my gosh, I would love if you'd do that before you left and come back and be part of my YouTube family. Help me get those numbers up. I'm really working to get up to 16,000 subscribers. I'd really love to be there. Uh, in the next month or so i think that would be wonderful and what a wonderful christmas present it would be if i could get up there before christmas i think that would be amazing so if you have planner friends share this with your planner friends let them know about this phenomenal idea for planner stickers um yeah i'm i'm in love guys so anyway don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see everyone in the next one. And until then, bye-bye for now, everyone. Have a really fantastic day.